Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through how you can easily shiny hunt for Galarian Slow Poke to get a shiny Galarian Slow Bro or Galarian Slow King in the Indigo Disc. <laughs> We now have a bunch of regional forms available to us through the terrarium in the indigo disc and one of them specifically is galarian slow pork which has specific evolution items that are required to get galarian slow bro and galarian slow king we're going to cover all of the details in today's video of how to get these items very easily in your game where you need to go who you need to speak to to get these made and also how you can easily get the shiny forms for both of them with the methods in today's video. The best location in game to shiny hunt for Galarian slow poke is going to be heading up to the coastal biome. You're going to be heading to the coastal plaza right here and it is towards the rear of this location on this beached area where you'll find Galarian slow poke. So you want to head around the back of the coastal plaza and head to this location. There are two methods that you can use for shiny hunting Galarian Slowpoke pretty effectively in this one location. The first one is going to be setting yourself up using the picnic method on this banked area here just above the beach. But before we do anything with either method that we're covering in today's video, you want to go onto the beach area and find the wild terrestrial Pokemon. Normally a lantern here can be other Pokemon as well, but make sure you do knock this Pokemon out because it is taking a spot in your spawn table. Now once you've done that, come back up to this bank drop a save and then set up a picnic. You're gonna to wanna to be creating a sandwich which gives you the sparkling and encounter power level three for psychic type Pokemon. After you've set the sandwich up, you're gonna have 30 minutes to take advantage of this with the increased shiny odds and increased spawn rates for psychic type Pokemon. If you don't get the shiny within the 30 minutes, as always, you have dropped a save before setting the sandwich up. Just reset your game, come back into it, do the same process. So you're not wasting resources the picnic method here is pretty straightforward you're going to be taking down your picnic from the top of this bank area and then spanning across the beach just checking out all of the new spawns that are coming into this area if none of them are shiny then just set your picnic up despawn everything on the beach and then repeat this process until you do eventually get the shiny now this wasn't the method that i used successfully to hunt shiny galarian slowpoke but it is a method that would work now the method that i used was actually setting up the sandwich in exactly the same way but then walking up and down the beach because from one end of the beach to the other you're going to despawn everything from one side and get new spawns in the other while you're just traversing up and down the beach checking for the shiny galarian slowpoke to spawn in I found this a lot better than just standing in one spot and taking down and saying oh, my picnic it was a bit more interactive and you've also got the very rare chance of other pokemon spawning in shiny alongside this make sure if you are walking up and down the beach to keep away from the water's edge because you will get inky spawning in as well which are going to take up spots with your glaring slow pokes that are spawning in on the beach using this method i was pretty successful in getting two shiny glaring slow pokes within one sandwich so sometimes it might happen like this where you're going to get the ones that you require sometimes it might take a few more sandwiches to get in but this is a very good isolated spot where you're only going to get a lot of galarian slowpoke spawning in in this one area so either using the picnic method on the top of the bank or walking up and down the beach are going to be effective ways to get the shiny in your game the shiny is very easy to spot as well it is a very vibrant yellow color opposed to its normal pink coloration that we're all familiar with with slowpoke and its regional form looking like so once you do come across it in your game drop a save before encountering it so if anything goes wrong with the encounter then you can reset come back in you haven't lost the shiny and then catch it in whatever special pokeball that you would like now once you've got your shiny galarian slowpoke the next step is going to be to evolve it now to evolve a galarian slowpoke into galarian slow king or slow bro you're going to need these special items the galarica twigs now these are going to be found in the coastal biome but specifically on this beach area where you are hunting the galarian slowpokes going to find a number of them on the ground here there will be primarily these sparkling items that are just dotted around the beach so go along this beach area you're going to get some sparkling items that are going to be one galerica twig and some are going to even be up to three galerica twigs when you pick them up but you're going to need a number of these to be able to get the items that you need which is going to be the galerica cuff and the galerica wreath which are going to be two items that are going to evolve this Galarian Slowpoke into Galarian Slow King and Slow Bro. Now, if you come up and down this beach and you cannot find any more Galarica Twigs, one method you can do to get more spawns of these sparkly items in straight away is to drop a save wherever you are, then close your game, then come down to your system settings, then down into system, then down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off. 
and then come into your date and time and just move the day forward one date and come back into your home menu and restart the game come back into it and once you load into the game again you'll notice on the beach area where you are the shiny objects will have returned because a whole day has passed in the real world I don't know the specifics about the respawning times, but this is what worked for me and was really effective in getting the numbers that I needed. Now to get the Galarica Cuff, you're gonna need eight Galarica Twigs. And to get the Galarica Wreath, you're gonna need 15 Galarica Twigs. So you're gonna need a total of 23 Galarica Twigs to get both of these evolution items. So once you've got enough of them, you want to fly back into the coastal plaza and you want to head up to the main desk area and it will be to the left of the desk area where you want to come beside the vending machines. There'll be an NPC character that we're talking to right now who will make the Galarica Cuff and the Galarica Wreath evolution items that we require. Like I said, to get the Galarica Cuff, you're going to need eight Galarica Twigs. Give them to this NPC character and in return, you'll get the Galarica Cuff. The Galarica Cuff will evolve Galarian Slow Poke into Galarian Slow Brawl and the Galarica Wreath will evolve Galarian Slow Poke into Galarian Slow King. So they're the two items that you're going to need. They cost different amounts of Galarica Twigs, but this is a really effective method for you to go onto the beach, utilize the date exploit to get them very quickly so you're not waiting time for them to respawn by themselves. You can just kind of cut that out and get the amount that you need so you can get these evolutions very quickly. Once you've spoken to this NPC character, you've got the evolution items, you're then going to be able to evolve your shiny Galarian Slowpoke into whichever one you want. Using the Galarica Cuff to get Galarian Slow Brawl, which has got a really nice regional shiny, as you can see here. And then the Galarica Wreath to get the Galarian Slow King, which again has a very nice shiny, a bit more subtle than the Galarian Slow Brawl, but all the same, a very nice shiny. And then you've got the complete set. So if you wanted to get very easy shinies, this is the location, they are the methods, and that is how you get the evolution items for these Pokemon in the Indigo Disc and get these ones. Now, this is one of many regional variants that we've got available now in the Terrarium in the Indigo Disc. If you'd like to see me cover more of these regional forms in their shiny hunts with the best locations and best methods for shiny hunting them in the game, leave a comment down below and let me know because I'm happy to do them. This one was a bit more specific because you needed the evolution items, which can be a bit tricky to get. So hopefully it has been helpful. Of course, if it has, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And this is going up on New Year's Eve. So anyone watching at the time of this going up, we have great celebrations tonight and all the best for 2024. So I will see you in the new year, friends. Thank you so much for all the support as always. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.